Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Gulf Conwats. Uh, this is a request. So we are going to do that for him with his future spouse. So let us just crack the deck and this is how this is who Spirit has selected for Gulf Con what, okay? So this is how they see golf. Ah, it has diligence, due diligence here. This is nice, it's very diligent. And in the flow, okay, very beautiful energy here. And abundance, wow. So there's a very, a lot of abundance when it comes to golf. I feel like you may be doing well successfully here. Now, let us see what we get for a tarot card when it comes to this. Okay, so his person sees him very in the Queen of Pentacles. This is just energy. This is all about nurturing, practical, reliable, resourceful, materially successful. Okay, this is just energy. It doesn't mean that he has girl traits or anything because we all have a feminine side and a masculine side to each and every one of us. We have the combined energies, right? So when you're looking after yourself and you're being uh, someone that is kind of independent and you, and you may be single, you may show up in your masculine side because you're you're taking that due diligence about your life. You're you're taking control of your life. And a lot of women will show up in their masculine side that they are the one that is got them to be where they are and they didn't need any help, okay? And when they're in their feminine side, they may be more nurturing like that motherly love, that nurturing side, right? Where they're emotionally connected and intuitive and compassionate and tender-hearted. So this just is saying that he's in his material success. He's being nurturing in the sense that he's in the flow. He understands what being in the flow is all about. And he's doing his due diligence. He's, he's being practical and reliable when it comes to his abundance here and goes about you, whoever his person is, okay? Let's see here. Yes, the Queen of Swords. Now, this is somebody that's very intellectual, like very intelligent, powerful, independent, kind of coming up in that strong side, okay? So, and very able to change things for themselves okay all about change wanting that truth come and see me if you're willing i want to hear the truth come forward and very self-assured and i feel like with these two combined here that they are seeing golf as somebody that is needs somebody strong and maybe materially successful to be in the flow with him. So they may see themselves as this, or they may see him as this. I kind of feel like this is more how they see him. And this may be your pers his person side of this and how they see golf, okay? So let's see, for golf conduit. All right, they wanna bring love into the situation. They may have Aquarius in their chart or golf does. Let's see, balance, spirituality and practicality of full moon and Pisces. Okay, so they may have Pisces and Aquarius in their charts, maybe golf does, but they see him very balanced, maybe spiritual or practical, um, maybe even a bit of both here. They want to bring love into the situation. This is their emotions about golf. This is his person. So this may be you or whoever he's meant to end up with. Let's see. For golf, how do they, how does this person's emotion 
Yeah, they may be crying over spilt milk. There may have been some type of change here. Hmm, they may have wanted to invest in him and possibly he may have been sad about a breakup. So let's just see after tarot here. Yeah, there's, I'm kind of feeling there is a masculine side to this. This could be him. They may see him as very uh, nice to look at because the King of Wands is all about that yummy playboy swagga swagga kind of energy. The one who is a risk taker, that fiery energy, the fire side. Let's see here. Now this may be a friend of his. Maybe he has a bromance some kind of getting. Somebody that he maybe is a really good friend. Sees him as a brother. Now this could be him and how his person wants to invest in him. Maybe cried over this or longed for this. Yeah, there's some healing done here. Maybe wanting to heal something with him. This could be somebody that has been with him already once before. Or they're just healing or they see him as someone that is healing. Let's see. This is how his person feels about golf. So I'm kind of getting that they, they see him as a healer. Very yummy to look at. May have been sad at one point, wanting to invest in him. This may be a friend that he hangs out with that helps him heal over something here. Hmm. Kind of getting some mixed signals here. Let's see if we can't sort this out. So this is how other people see golf, okay? This is how other people see him. The star mother, he's very loved. Your person, golf, may also see you as being very loved by everyone. The universal mother loves and supports me totally. The universe also supports him. This is number four. This is all about stability and structure, you know? The star daughters dance. I dance, sing, and play with my sisters at sunset. So this may be something he's done in the past. Maybe he's an actor, songwriter, sings, maybe does dancing as well. He may just have a lot of talent when he come when it comes to this he's he wants to change something here though four five it's ascending something's ascending here let's have a look and see what we have for tarot yes so the universe has totally invested in him has bestowed some beautiful energy with the ton of pentacles giving him that generational wealth that he can share with his family here. What else do we have for that? Yeah, there may be some temptations here with the devil. This may be, they may see him with a Capricorn here. So it may also just be something he's very passionate and desires um, is making his way through life and making a name for himself here. What is it that he wants to change here? Hmm, there may be competition when it comes to things. With the daughters here, that kind of reminds me of more people in and around that he's dancing and singing with. This may be a group that he's with or that he may be just independent. Perhaps he has a group of friends Let's see what the after tarot is telling us. Yes, he's very passionate about what he does. He may feel a passion for that competition, um, maybe driving to win at all costs or just winning, 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 winning. <laughs> Let's see, what is his palace? How does his person view 
a relationship with him. Now, they may not have been with him before, but this is how they want to see things in a relationship with him. So, they may not feel like they are enough. Maybe they're not being seen by golf. They may feel a lack of confidence. They may have jealousy issues when it comes to him or some type of fear. They feel like they're not enough. Paradise, yes, they want that happiness, joy, enjoying each other. This is how he comes across too with this flow. He doesn't have any expectations of where he's going to bring the relationship to. He's just letting it evolve. And maybe that is what his person needs to learn about when it comes to relationship. Yes, there's abundance here. Having that positive mindset, this may be something that is needed to be learned here and possibly golf uh, um, teaches this person about manifesting gratitude and bliss, having that positive mindset. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Yeah, fighting for their place in life. Maybe they have a little bit of a fight about being pessimistic or how things can change for them if they have a different mindset. Yes, a new perspective. I can't make it up. Let's see here when it comes to, yes, it comes to that Ten of Pentacles, that family legacy, learning to bring in and fight for what they want to happen here. They want to fight for this with him. They want to get that legacy going, having a different mindset when it comes to him and this may be something they learn from him or is learning in order to come together with him yeah whatever they had for their perspective before has come to an end they are learning that about that positive mindset can bring them that paradise type of reality is kind of what i'm getting here What's the Venus here? How they love you, Gulf. This is how they love you, Gulf. Okay. They are going to try to stay optimistic in order to bring this to a fruition. Like, this is that positive, and they may find it challenging, but they're going to try to have that faith to bring in this romance. Yes, there's a lot of chemistry between the two. Um, between golf and the person spirit has selected for him. Now let's get the tarot and see what that has to say. Yes, that negativity, negativity has ended. I feel like when it comes to this love, um, there may be an ending to that pessimistic that they're not enough. They may be getting that confidence, self-confidence, self-love I'm kind of getting here with that. What else? Yes, they may be looking at things a little differently. Maybe very powerful and independent and very strong and determined for this to actually come together here. Let's see what the after tarot says. Yes, yes, death, death, death. The death card and the death card once again um, I feel like totally ending that type of lack mindset that that pessimistic type of energy that kind of lacking goals or unreliability or being distracted maybe even gullible I feel like they're they're learning here maybe they had to learn the lesson twice ah uh, They've evolved to the Empress. So, Golf, this may be your Empress here. They may be very guarded, but they are blossoming into the Empress here. They're learning things. In order to come together, they may see Golf as this. This is the relationship, how they love him. They want to love him like the Empress. So, they're wanting to have, in all aspects of their life, that pleasure, the marriage, the loving, the luxury, and just that joy. Not having a care in the world, but that love between them. So let's have a look here. This is beautiful for golf. Let's see what, what do you see as golf's fortune? 
what they see as wealth in him, whether it's love, money, or how he spends his time, or uh, what they believe in, door to spirit. So they have a belief in spirit that this is, this is all going to work out here. They're taking an action here. I feel like they want to have that new beautiful beginning when it comes to the world. This is about having the right path. This is all about, I kind of feel like a challenge here to celebrate some type of success, taking action towards some type of success. We have number 11 here, number eight, and number five. So five, eight, eleven, one, one, five, eight, one, one, eight, five. However, that comes in. There's another underlying message here with when it comes to golf and his person. What's on the bottom of the deck? Anxiety. Okay, so this person may be a little fearful of the unknown, um, but fearful about this fruition, this kind of life that they want to attain, this fulfillment. Let's see what spirit has to say about this. Yes, this person is a sweetheart or they see golf as, mu as much. Yeah, princess of wands. So the page of wands here. They're very inspired. They, this is a new opportunity. So this may be a new person for golf. This may not be somebody from the past. So this is someone new. Let's see. Let's see what spirit wants to tell us. Yeah, he's showing up as the emperor and the empress. This is his full counterpart. They see him as a sweetheart and they are a sweetheart. I feel like they see him as the sweetheart they want a message yeah they want to bring in an offer or they want an offer from him i feel like they're going to work up the courage to approach him to have some sort of meeting or message that he ends up getting let's see what might be in the way of this something that's influencing this could be spirit could be a person, could be siblings, could be family, could be on this person's. Yeah, this person is observing here. So I'm just going to see what went on the floor. So we have what landed on the floor is a change in the wind. So something here is about to change, maybe when it comes to a group or <clears throat> some type of I want to say group. So let's just see what else we get here. What's on the bottom of the deck? Here and now, change once again. So a change in the wind, a change here and now when it comes to observing this person. So whoever this empress is, is watching golf. And I feel like they were observing maybe his habits or what he does or how talented he is. And I just feel like they want to change something here. They're not in the past and they're not in the future. They're just right here. I feel like they may be in the flow of things. Let's see what Tarot has to say. Yeah, They want to bring in an offer or they want him to offer them something here. Oh, there is a message coming in. I feel like with the three of wands, this is your ships coming in, whoever this person spirit has selected. Let's just see what career this person may have or want to have with golf here. Let's see what the midheaven is about their career. Let's crack the deck. Time to decide. Maybe they haven't had a chance to decide what their true desire lies here when it comes to golf and teaching. They may want to be a teacher or they are a teacher. They may decide to change this. They do inspire young people. So this may be something 
that they teach. Mm, they may be a healer, so perhaps they teach healing. Maybe they're very spiritual. Let's see here. Yes, judgment. Okay, so with this judgment, I'm kind of feeling like a purpose or a calling here. Some type of transformation. Could be just making good judgment calls here. I kind of feel like this purpose or calling has brought these two together. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Planning the future with the two people here with the globe in their hands, both looking at each other, holding each other's hand about what they want to do with the future. This is no longer having avoidance or the ability to see the truth. This is about making decisions together. This is about having one another in whatever plans they plan to have. So this is very beautiful here. Let's have a look here at their Lilith. What is their hidden emotions about you? What do they want to confess to Gulf? What does his person want to confess to him? And let's get one of these. Ah, that they have a lot of joy when it comes to him. Maybe they bring, maybe he brings out a lot of joy in them. Their, his balance or they feel balanced around him. Let's get one of these here. Ah, they may know all about gratitude, that they're thankful for this life and opportunity that it presents when it comes to him. Now let's get another one of these here. Yeah see what else we got purpose see I can't make it up it has to do with that purpose I know what I am here to do and this th they know what they're meant to be doing here okay so somebody does have a little bit of grief here and we did see some crying here so I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so maybe having to lose something in order to understand what that person meant to them or whatever it is that they lost, that they realize the lesson behind it. Not what somebody may have done to them and being the victim, but looking at it as a lesson of what did they learn from the whole situation? Were their boundaries not high enough? Were they giving too much of their energy? Were they not receiving what equal give and take is all about? Were they just taking, taking, taking? Like they will learn something here when it comes to either a lost opportunity that they had before this happened, or there may have been something that happened that they lost that they had to heal before this could come together. Let's see what spirit has to say yeah this is a new passionate beginning for this person this is a blessing coming in for golf's person here this has to do with how they really feel about golf this is their wanting to confess that they want this new passionate beginning and with the ace of wands this is all about birthing something new some creativity with him maybe having this may impact his family or their family. There's going to be some progress here or taking some type of initiative. They're drinking their own cup. So they have that self-worth. They know what self-worth is all about. And I feel like they may have learned this by having to lose something in order to gain self-worth about what they are worth and what letting that person go meant to them in a learning curve that they are worth much more than what they were getting from that person so now this is a line to go in line with golf so let's see what the outcome is when it comes to their north node what they are doing in their current life about golf what are they doing right now about trying to figure out how to come together with golf or having destiny happen they may be talking to their family perhaps they have to move or 
something has to change here when it comes to their family. Number three, they, number three again with 2112. So that might be a number with an underlying message behind this for golf or this person. They know that their whole life will change if they are in the spotlight. Maybe they come from a good background. Maybe they come from money. Maybe they don't. Maybe they, this is going to be a whole shocking situation for them when they have to step into the limelight that they may not be used to having so many people around or being known. It may really affect their privacy. It may affect things for their family. So it's not just going to be them that has an impact. It will impact their families as well. Let's see. Yes. This main male who is golf, I feel like is going to impact his whole family and his empress. His whole world is com maybe completely different from them. I kind of feel like, let's see what we get for the bottom of the deck. I just want to shuffle it up a little. Ooh, okay. So yes, he is the wealthy man. There's number four here. And it's going to be from somebody that maybe he has a main male friend here. I'm getting a bromance. I keep, <laughs> why I keep getting that? bromance. He must have a really good friend here that he sees as family. So this person has to accept not only him, but his family, which could include this brotherly love that he has for somebody. So let's just see. Yes. And the main female. So this privileged lady, she is going to be the main female in his life. Okay. He's a wealthy man, and this may just be him, or maybe he has a friend that is a wealthy man. So he's very, I feel like he's wealthy himself. He, he's doing well for himself with that legacy here. But I feel like this is, the Ace of Wands coming up twice here. This is a blessing for each of them. I feel like this is like one in a million chances. And it's so beautiful here. So there is definitely going to be some type of message or offer going on here. Maybe a friend telling him that, that this is looks like this is the one for you. Like having that joy, sharing that joy with him about this feminine. Now, it could be a masculine just showing up in the feminine side. So take it how it resonates. But whoever his person is that spirit is selected for him, to love I feel like there's two people here there's besides golf so there's golf there's a main male and a man, main female here that are in his life in his circle he loves maybe this female and he also loves another masculine but I don't feel like it's love as in, in love. He loves them like a brother or family. He sees them as family. What is their into, what is his intuition telling him? Or no, let's see. We're still looking from the person of selected that was selected. With the three of wands here, I'm kind of feeling like that troubles are ending or ships are finally coming in for this person disappointments have ended let's see here this is what this person is doing right now towards golf let's see let's crack the deck here for golf's person's intuition here Yes, this is the Page of Cups. So this is somebody that's young at heart, innocent, happy news, kindness, emotional. This is beautiful. I feel like that is this, this female, this main female that's coming up and a burden. So putting whatever burdens down here with this Ten of Wands, this is all about, I'm kind of getting... 
fulfillments, fulfilling obligations, reducing some type of pressure here, having some success, but at a price. So maybe having to leave family in order to find this love. And I feel like this may be his person, this empress that's showing up here, may have to leave family behind to pursue this love with golf and may not be around for this family as much as they like to be. Let's see what the after tarot is here. Yeah, the sun. Wow, this is beautiful. So definitely whatever burden that they're going to feel, they're going to have that double-edged sword, I feel like, um, having a lot of joy being with golf, but still having that at a price because having to leave the family. But yeah, something's really going to shake shit up here. These are two major arcanas when it comes to this outcome or what this person's doing and their intuition here. So I kind of feel like this is going to be spirit shaking shit up for them to come together here. There's something going to happen here. What else can you tell me? Yeah, there's, they're going to need a lot of strength to get through this together. And marriage is here. So whoever this is, this empress, golf is going to marry this person. They both may have abundance or he's going to show this person how to fight for that abundance or how to keep that positive mindset in order to bring in that abundance. We have abundance here. We have generational wealth. We have a Capricorn or the desire to move forward, feeling like there's winning here. I feel like that chariot type of energy. And then we have something that is very passionate here when it comes to other people seeing golf and how he is. Wow, this is beautiful. I really enjoyed doing this reading for golf conuit. Um, yeah, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And take care. Stay blessed. If you'd like to donate, there is a PayPal account in the description box. You can click on. It'll take you right to the link to PayPal. Or you can do the super thanks. And I will be doing live sometime soon, I promise. I just have a few things that are still affecting that I have to work out here. And I will soonly or hopefully be coming out soon with this live. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. We'll see you next time. Later.